Bill O'Reilly here, Wednesday, October 6, 2021. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. John Kerry says President Biden was unaware of the arms deal with Australia. The FBI targets some parents opposing critical race theory. A majority of Americans view both political parties with disfavor. Shoppers noticing the rise of shrinkflation at grocery stores. Also ahead, worried about your money? We'll have some analysis that may help you out. But first, climate czar John Kerry telling French reporters, Joe Biden was completely cut off from his administration's decision to sell submarines to Australia. That sale set off tension between the U.S. and France because Paris was aced out of billions of dollars. Said Kerry, quote, he asked me what's the situation. He had not been aware of it. He literally had not been aware of what had transpired, unquote. That is further indication that President Biden is not up to the job. The Department of Justice asking the FBI to investigate residents in some school districts who are speaking out against critical race theory. The DOJ made the request after the National School Boards Association linked unhappy parents to domestic terrorists. Attorney General Garland telling federal agents that adults can engage in heated debate but cannot threaten administrators or teachers. New poll from Gallup says a majority of voters hold a negative view of both political parties. 55% disapprove of Democrats, 56% of Republicans. Historically, Americans have been more positive toward the Democratic Party than the GOP, but now uh, the hatred, if you will, is pretty much spread equally. New phrase, making the rounds of grocery stores across the country, shrink Inflation. Shoppers now may notice smaller products on the shelves. Companies are reducing cereal, paper towels, pretzels, almost everything to maintain prices as inflation goes up. You pay the same for what you want, but you get less. Ice cream consumers hardest hit. A tub of Briars went from 64 ounces to 48. That's a 25% reduction for a similar price. In a moment, more about your money. Right back. My trusted technology research executive, Jeff Brown, has a must-see video out right now called The Great Reset. This reset has been in the works since 2015. Now the circumstances are just right, and it appears to be coming to fruition. So please pay attention, because in Jeff's briefing, He will show us exactly what's going on, the proof, and how we can best prepare. He'll also give us the name of an investment he believes we must own if we hope to have any chance at preserving our hard-earned cash. In fact, if you buy it soon, he's convinced you could be one of the select few Americans who could see their nest egg double just from this one single asset. We may be about to witness the greatest financial shift in the history of America with the Great Reset. So, prepare now. Go to jeffbrowntech.com. That's jeffbrowntech.com. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day, your money, is it at risk? Could be. The socialist wing of the Democratic Party obviously wants to take as much money from affluent Americans and corporations as possible. There's no disputing that. So let's look at the stats and then we'll analyze how you can protect your hard-earned dollars. The average American household earns $74,664 a year. Expenditures for the average American household $57,310. So you see, there's not a lot left over. One in 10 of us earn $100,000 or more. 28% earn $50,000 to $100,000. 19% have zero 
save to cover any emergency. 31% have less than $500 in saving. That is 50% of Americans living on the edge financially. Less than 30% of us have even $10,000 saved for retirement. 56% of adults own stock. By the way, these statistics are from the IRS and the Census Bureau. Here's more. Americans hold over $1 trillion in credit card debt. 157 million Americans have credit card debt to pay off. That's 63% of the adult population. So you can see that any rise in taxation will hurt most Americans very much. President Biden says only the affluent will pay more, but that's not true, and we are seeing it right now as gas and food prices rise substantially. Once you tax or interfere with private companies, they raise prices. Biden is certainly interfering with the fossil fuel industry. Bingo, everybody pays more. The socialists and Mr. Biden, who enables them, apparently don't care. Their plan is to give you more stuff to make up for the higher prices. But that is not going to work. So what should you do? Well, if you have stocks, individual stocks that you're holding, you need to put a stop loss on those stocks. That means that you tell your broker, I want to sell the stock at this price pretty much 15% down from where it is now, so you don't get wiped out if there is a stock market disaster, okay? Stop loss. That's very important. Secondly, in your IRAs and your retirements and your college funds, you have mutual funds that hold stocks. Don't mess with them. I'm just holding because in my lifetime, every time the stock market's gone down, it's come back. Sometimes it takes a while. But if you pull all your money out, you're not going to make it up anywhere else. And the third and most important thing is save your money. Don't buy foolish stuff. Save as much as you can. Don't waste it. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. For more honest news analysis, please go to BillOReilly.com. In a moment, something you might not know. The Tunnel of Towers Foundation honoring America's heroes and their families with 200 mortgage-free homes this year. Amazing. In a moving tribute to the fallen, the foundation's chairman and CEO walked from the Pentagon to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, then on to Ground Zero, more than 500 miles through six states in 42 days. Thanks to your support, the foundation brought Towers of Light back to the Pentagon and Shanksville memorials in remembrance. And in a first for America, the foundation read aloud the names of those who lost their lives to 9-11 related illness. On Veterans Day, another first will arrive. The foundation is reading aloud the names of people lost in the war on terror. So please do some good and help America never forget. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number two, T, dot org. Great cause. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Historians routinely rank Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and Franklin Roosevelt as the best presidents. Bottom of the list typically includes Herbert Hoover, Warren Harding, Andrew Johnson. But dead last is the country's 15th commander-in-chief, James Buchanan. So, here's a question. Is Joe Biden the ghost of James Buchanan? The answer to that question is maybe. Here's the story behind Old Buck. Like Mr. Biden, Jim B. was born in Pennsylvania. He worked in the state legislature there, then the U.S. House, then the Senate, then Secretary of State under President Polk. Mr. Buchanan served as president from 1857 to 1861, and did absolutely nothing 
while the nation was fracturing over slavery. During his tenure, seven southern states seceded from the Union, and the country teetered on the brink of war. James Buchanan allowed the situation to spiral out of control. Again, he did nothing. On his way out of office in March 1861, he dumped the whole disintegrating nation into the lap of Abraham Lincoln. The Civil War began one month later. And here's something else you might not know. James Buchanan was a controversial figure in his time. He remains the only president to be a lifelong bachelor, having his young niece, Harriet Lane, assume the duties of First Lady. So questions surrounding his sexual orientation swirled. Much of that speculation revolved around his relationship with William Rufus King, an Alabama senator. The two actually lived together for more than 10 years. They were so close that Tennessee Governor Aaron Brown referred to King as Buchanan's better half, while Andrew Jackson mockingly referred to the pair as, quote, Miss Nancy and Aunt Fancy, unquote. Again, that was Andrew Jackson for all you cancel culture devotees listening. Back after this. Are you looking for your next investment? Bill O'Reilly here. There are seven reasons to look at the NRI8 Real Estate Development Fund. Monthly cash flow payouts of 10% annualized. Bonuses to 21% targeted. They strategically locate in lower risk, high demand areas people want to move to. New construction is short on supply. Real estate affords diversification and safety from stock market risk. Their short and long-term strategy provides for steady returns right now. NRIA is an industry leader with a 15-year proven track record. So, if you've been sitting on the sidelines or want to diversify, start your due diligence at nria.net. Or you can call 800-800-1414. That's easy. 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA Private Placement Memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at nria.net. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.